and welcome to the instructor support slide on CD for Milady Standard Cosmetology. This instructor resource is an innovative teaching tool that is designed to be used in the classroom to support your presentation uh, when you're working with your students. The instructor support slides provide, provide a chapter by chapter lesson plan, if you will, available in Microsoft PowerPoint that features images from the text to capture the interest of the visual learner. So when you put the CD into your computer, what you see here on the screen is the first page that you're going to, that's going to come up on your, on your computer. Once you're there, go ahead and click on the instructor support slides. When you click on that, it's going to give you an option based on whether or not you have PowerPoint on your computer or if you only have PowerPoint Viewer. If you don't have Microsoft PowerPoint, that's okay. You can install the Viewer that allows you to at least view this. If you have the full version, then you would click on the first one. So we'll go ahead and click on the full version of PowerPoint. And what will happen is it will bring up a list of all the different chapters. Uh, so depending on what chapter you're on, you go ahead and select. We'll pick uh, Chapter 14, Principles of Hair Design. And it will load, if you have the full version of uh, Microsoft PowerPoint, it's going to load in here, and it looks just like any other PowerPoint that you work with. Now, what's great about this product is you can edit this however you choose. If, if you go in there and you want to add in your own content, you can do that. If, if, you're, if you're not quite... If you don't quite like the way we worded something on one of the bullets, you can go in and you can change that. In the notes section, you can add more detailed notes in if you'd like. Uh, really, whatever you want to do, this is what you're going to be able to see. And just like any Microsoft PowerPoint product that you're working with, you're going to be able to edit this. We do not include sound effects or any type of animation. That's something completely up to every school, however you want to do. If you want to go in, you simply follow along just like any PowerPoint that you have, depending on which version you have. You click on animation. You can do the custom animation. You can add in sound effects and really make it um, your own product that you're working from. Um, when you go ahead and put it into show format, this is what it's going to look like. The 2012 edition comes up, and we're looking at Chapter 14 here. When you hit Next, you'll notice that the, um, the inspirational thought of the day that we have in the lesson plan has been made into a slide, so you don't have to write this on your flip chart or your marker board as it is already part of your presentation. You can go through that and talk about it in class with your students. Uh, the next page that you will see is a list of the objectives. There may be two or three pages of, of objectives, depending on how long the chapter is. So you can talk to the students about, here's what you're going to be able to do at the end of Chapter 14. From there, we just start adding content in. And uh, we follow basic concepts of, of proper PowerPoint. We don't put a ton of content on the slide, because the slide is a tool for the student to watch and keep on target while listening to you. The slide is not providing the class. You, the educator, is providing the class. These are just bulleted points for the student to, to engage with. You are going to continue delivering the class, not put all of the words on the slide. Basic uh, concepts is you never have more than six, six lines, and uh, usually six to eight words per line is about the best. So we try to follow those suggested guidelines when creating this. We will also incorporate some of our photos. We have actually taken photos from the textbook and incorporated them into the PowerPoint at various places. Now, because this product is one that you can edit, you can use the image library that is found on the Course Management Guide CD-ROM, and you can take more of those photos and even make it more visual for our students. You can go in and incorporate any type of photos that you want to. If you um, maybe are using your own digital camera in your classroom to get some really good photos in the student salon that would enhance the class, drop those in there. You can completely do that very easy. So um, get in there, customize it, change the content around however you choose to. Right now it follows the outline of the textbook. So as you're going through the textbook, it just follows the order that the chapter is in. Now, a new feature with this year's edition is uh, this, this word right here, 
protoplasm. If you look at it, you'll notice that it is in a different color. It's italicized and it's underlined. What will happen when you're in the slideshow presentation? I can't do this on a webinar. It won't work. But uh, when you're working in the class, you will just take your mouse and click on top of that and have your speaker volume turned up. It will pronounce the word for your students and for yourself. It's a, it's a really awesome tool. You can talk to the students about how to pronounce a word, and then you can click on it, and everybody can practice saying all the different terms that are associated with our industry. So a great new tool that's available in the 2012 edition of the Instructor Support Slides. At the close of every PowerPoint presentation for every chapter, you find the summary and review. The summary is actually going to be in the notes section so the students can't see it. What we have posted up here are the review questions. So you can post the review questions and use them in your classroom for Q&A, discussions, group discussions, however you want to incorporate it, you're going to be able to do that. And there may be three pages of review questions. Those might be some that you want to edit out. I don't want to use all 15 questions. I only want to use five questions. I want to put my own questions in. You can do that as well. So very user-friendly product. Get in there, play with it, see what works best for you. At the end of every PowerPoint presentation, there is simply a congratulations. You've completed one unit of study towards course completion for the student to let them know that, hey, I'm on the right track. I just completed a chapter. This is really good. Now. These PowerPoint presentations actually correspond to the lesson plans in the course management guide. And what I mean by that is when you notice up here on the PowerPoint that the student actually sees on the slide, this is following the order of the textbook. If you look in the notes section of the PowerPoint, you're going to find more detailed information for you, the educator. So you can see down here in the notes section it says learning motivation. And this will be identical to the learning motivation that is found in the lesson plan. All right. So when you go to print from this, you can actually teach from the PowerPoint presentations and not necessarily have to teach from the lesson plans. You'll still want to have the lesson plans because they have all the activities, they have the tests, they have the handouts, they have the learning reinforcement ideas, the test bank is available on the CD-ROM. This is more of a teaching tool where you don't necessarily have to use the lesson plan to teach from. You can use this to teach from, but you still want to use the lesson plan to reinforce and support this product. So when you go to print, um, or you can you can choose to view and then hit note page. This is all the different ways that you can look at this. If we hit the note page, we'll go to next, and um, it shows you how the the handout would be printed. If you choose to print in note page format, it's going to have the slide that the students will see up at the top, and it will have all the notes for you, the educator, to teach from at the bottom. So you can simply print this out, and here is a great resource for you to teach from in your classroom. So um, again, you can you can um, go in and you can edit these, you can add to, you can remove. If you want to break them into multiple classes, you can do that. Uh, enjoy using them however works best for you. You can save them to your hard drive, and um, then you always have the master version back available on the, on the CD-ROM. So whatever works best for you, play around with it. See how you can utilize these best in your class to keep the students engaged and appeal to those visual learners. And um, if you have any questions on this product or any other tools that we have to support you as an educator, please feel free to contact your account manager or go online, look at milady.cengage.com, see what all we have available to support you in your classroom to, to um, make you better at what you're doing. So, Because you're doing a great job, we just have the tools to support you with that. So as always, Milady wishes you great success. We are your partner in lifelong learning.